first day out. Back to business, feels great. It's that time again, man. A lot of work put in. Now it's time to really get to work. Day one, baby, let's get it. You know what it is. Day one, baby, let's get it. It's football season, time to go to work. Let's go, Raider Nation. Showtime, let's win, baby. Feels great, ready to get back to it. Excited to get back to work. Let's get it. Feeling good, feel good to be a Raider, man. Dude, Raider Nation, we back. Time to get to work. Summer's over. Back to it. Feeling good. Your five, two days a year in the season. Ready to get to work, though. Oh, good to be back. And it feels good to be back. It is the Raiders training camp special. Amber Theo Harris along with Eric Allen. We just saw all the superstars yep. arriving. Devontae Adams, Max Crosby, Marcus Peters, the new guy. That's He's right. here as well. So we are so excited to be previewing what is coming for Raider Nation. In the show, we're going to be talking a little Jimmy G. He was out mm -hmm. on the field for the first time. Also, Marcus Peters. Yep. He just signed yesterday. Today, he's on the field. And then Chandler Jones, we're able to catch up with him. Yeah, and talk Chandler's a little. awesome. Yeah. Slim, looked mean, ready to go. He is ready to go for sure. And we're going to talk to him about the slimming down. Maybe yeah. get to the quarterback a little bit quicker. <laughs> Let's get to Jimmy G, though. Jimmy Garoppolo, the era has now begun here in Las Vegas. He was on the field. He passed his physical. There were questions coming into the season whether or not that foot would be okay. But there are no restrictions. And despite the 100-plus degree heat here in Las Vegas, <laughs> he was out there practicing. A little toasty today for the guys. A little toasty. I think everyone outside the building can concerned a little bit about Jimmy G, but from here, no one was concerned. Everyone yeah. knew that he was going to be able to be ready for day one, and Jimmy G looks great. Again, great locker room presence, late, great locker room guy. We all know that, but it's important for him to be on the football field to get that timing right, to be able to understand just how Devontae Adams gets in and well, out there of they his go. routes. Yes, there exactly. They go. You got to see, and look at that. That's the conversation. That's what's more important than anything. Those conversations in between plays with him, with Hunter Renfro, with the rest of the guys. So those are the things that training camps helps you evolve to that next level when you're having those kind of um, communication opportunities, maybe hand signals, maybe like a, a little flick worth the eye or something. Those are the things that really create those bonds and allow you to have that great rhythm during the season. Jimmy G, 40 and 17 in his career. All he has done is win. He's <laughs> gone to the Super Bowl. He's gone to NFC Championships. What will he yeah. do here in Vegas? Let's hear. I don't know if you noticed it, but there were some nervous fans uh, during the offseason with everything that was kind of <laughs> going on with the foot and everything. Um, understandably so, but was there any concern on your part that it wasn't all going to work out? No, never. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big <laughs> media guy talking now in the offseason stuff, but yeah, never really a worry. Uh, we had a good plan here. The strength staff, uh, training staff, really tip my hat to those guys. They did a great job just getting me back and getting me where I need to be. And, you know, I'm not fully there yet, but work in the right direction. They have a Jim and Jimmy G. I've covered him for a long time in yeah. the NFL, and he is a locker room guy, as you yes. said. People will rally around him. And the big question is, how will this offense look? We know Josh Jacobs has not reported for right. training camp. Doesn't mean it won't report for the year, but uh, not reporting for training camp. And we know that the team respects his decision uh, to not be here. But so now we have to say, when you go through camp, how do you try to prepare for what might be too different looking yeah. offenses because one is running back by committee uh -huh. and one is running back with Josh Jacobs, which are two different things. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think last year going into the season, I thought it was going to be a running back by committee maybe, but Josh had just an incredible year where he was such a huge impact on this offense that you had to feed him and continue to feed him. I think this year early on, we'll see just a collection of different running backs, but the first one, I think Zamir White, is going to get an outstanding opportunity to be that lead bell cow, particularly on first and second down. I think it's very important uh, for this running back room to get plenty of reps in practice, understanding exactly what's expected of you. And like this organization has really, for the last couple months, talked about is find your role and really kill it in that role. And I think it's really important 
for Zamir to be able to handle a role, find a role, find a place for himself, and make sure he's that guy who can fill in for Josh if he's not here. Yeah, in his rookie season, he only gets 3.6% of the offensive snaps. Yeah. Uh, so he has a long way to go, <laughs> but, they're, to go. <laughs> but they're going to get an opportunity to see him here at training yeah. camp without Josh Jacobs. And what did you see? Why don't we take a look at some film? What did you see from Zamir White? Right. In the limited times we did see him last year, this is a guy out of Georgia. Right. He didn't come from big time some football. small program. That's, that's yeah. big time he football. Can run. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I like the fact that you want to have him in space. You want to get him to the outside. He has great burst, he has great speed. So that's kind of what you want to feature for this young man. And we saw that a couple times last year. We're going to go to the film here. And this is what's important, right? So understand, first, you know what, first down, let's find the middle of the football field, have you make a couple guys miss, and then find a way to get to the second level. He does that and does that very well, as you can see. And this is going to be the kind of thing where our offensive line had the league leading rusher last year. So we're going to expect to be able to run the ball effectively in the middle of the football field. But Zamir White's about getting the ball on the outside part of the football field, get him in space, get him on that edge, allow him to use that speed, that burst, to be able to get to the second level. And this is also an opportunity in the screen game. Again, outside of the football field. We don't want him running in between the guards and tackles. We want him on the outside part of the football field where he can get it done. And we always like to see this, right? Yeah. Look at all that blue sky. There you right? go, <laughs> outside. That's what it's about. Finding ways to get Samir White in the open field, allowing him to use his speed to get to the end zone, giving our football team opportunities to win on first down. That's going to be the key for this offense this year and defensively, win on first down. If we mm -hmm. can toss the ball to Zamir White and have him get five or six yards on first down, then second down with Jimmy G with the play action, everything kind of works uh, together in balance. Got to stay on schedule. Got to stay on schedule. number one of yeah. offensive production. <laughs> all right, we're going to take a break. When we come back, four-time All-Pro Marcus Peters is in the building. What does this mean for the secondary? That's coming up next right here on Raiders Training Camp Special. Raiders Training Camp Special is brought to you by SiriusXM. Subscribe to SiriusXM and hear every Raiders game, plus 24-7 NFL news, talk, and expert analysis on SiriusXM NFL Radio. Start listening at SiriusXM.com slash Raiders 23. Allegiant, the official airline of the Las Vegas Raiders. Low fares, nonstop flights. Book now only at Allegiant.com. Just win, baby. That's the only message I got for y'all. Let's do it. We got to up the standard, and the standard is going to be set. Signed, sealed, delivered. Love Marcus it. Peters, one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL, is now a Raider. And I love the shout-out to his roots in Oakland with yeah. the A's hat yeah. on at the signing. And Marcus Peters uh, is somebody that they needed. Let's be yes. real. This is a yeah. secondary that struggled last year. Uh, to have a leader like Marcus Peters, a, a yeah. veteran that Wait has been around. Wait till you see these numbers, Amber. The I mean, numbers are pretty ridiculous. It, it's impressive, it really is. And the Raiders have had a long history of bringing over, you know, cornerbacks from free agency, starting with Willie Brown, obviously. Uh, Mike Haynes was a phenomenal cornerback uh, uh, who had started in New England for seven years and came here as probably one of the best defensive backs ever played in this game. Marcus Peters is the next step in that. And I'm just so impressed with uh, how he has um, uh, really proven that uh, he can be a complete football player. I mean, you talk about the room uh, now. He's a heady player. Uh, he's been in some big football games. I love the fact they're able to, to sign Marcus. And he's feisty. I like oh, that yeah, about I, him. Yeah, <laughs> All right, yeah. let's hear what uh, Coach Josh McDaniels had to say about signing Marcus Peters. He's a very intelligent football player. Uh, he had multiple opportunities to sit down and talk with him. Um, very bright, understands the game. Uh, really a mature, uh, intelligent guy in terms of defensive structure, coverages, reading route patterns, etc. cetera. Um, very impressed with that. Um, and he wants to be a Raider, you know, and, and so it was exciting for us to be able to uh, make that happen and excited to put him in with our group. And I know he's eager to get to work. EA told you about those numbers. Take a look at this. Hey. Since he came into the league with the Kansas City Chiefs in Facts. 2015, Facts. he is the top cornerback in the NFL hey. in most major categories. He's had more takeaways, more interceptions, more defensive touchdowns than any other corner. And all this when he missed the entire 2021 hey. season due to an injury. I hear a lot of talk about I'm the dude and I'm that guy. That's a right dude. Right there. 
<laughs> that's, that's a, a definition right of a dude right that's there. That's a dude right there. But and, and, and so what you're going to get is someone who has the, the numbers, but more importantly, he's going to be someone that the coaching staff will be able to say, young player, look at this. Look how he read this play. Hey, Marcus, can you get up and, and explain how you were able to get to this play? Well, you know what? Two, two games ago, this receiver lined up inside, ran this route in this particular situation, and that's why I was able to jump this route. So he's going to elevate the, the, the knowledge of the cornerback room. That is so important. And all for, you know, older players, you want to leave your mark. Yeah. So when you come back after retired, you don't want to have players say, hey, you know what, I learned this from Marcus Peters. And that's how you keep your, your, your name. That's how you keep your brand in the game. So I ran into him uh, last night at the hotel. Oh, okay. Like, hey, what's up, OG? I was like, hey, man, I'm glad to have you here, <laughs> man. Yeah. So I'm so excited for him so he can continue to make those great plays. But for the Hobbs and yeah. Corey Bennett and Long and whoever else, Brandon Faison. Well, what does it mean the for the competition? The I mean, so now pretty much you can expect that the left it's corner one, position is one. locked up. <laughs> it used to be two. Now there's, now a, it's one, there's outside. one. So <laughs> what does that mean for the competition on, on the other end? Okay, so now I can hone in on, hey, I'm going to be opposite wherever Marcus is, right? So if he is a kind of guy, Marcus is going to be a, a zone play off interception kind of guy, maybe that gives me the opportunity to play more of a press guy. So if we need that, then that can meet my role. And I can be a press guy. I can get up, line of scrimmage, get in the guy's face, use my length. If you're Brandon Faison, if you're Nate Hobbs, you're trying to move outside. So all those guys are more powerful, stronger, kind of um, – bump and run kind of cornerback. So if you can utilize that skill set and this defensive uh, coordinator likes that, then, hey, that's your thing. That's what you're going to do. So you have to figure out a way how you can use your skill set to be successful, knowing that Marcus is going to now lock down left or right, whatever you're going to be. Uh, so that other is going to be open, and mm -hmm. then you have to work in the nickel. So I, we're in a better spot now yeah. than we were two days ago. Well, still some questions of competition in the yeah. secondary, but I can tell you on the defensive ends, Pretty set there. Yeah, and one of the guys so. that's excited to come back is Chandler Jones. He sits down and talks to us about his second year in the silver and black. Football is back. Celebrate by watching all 32 teams, including your Las Vegas Raiders, take the field for training camp back together weekend. NFL Network and NFL Plus have you taken care of with coverage on July 29th and July 30th. Additional coverage on ABC and ESPN. Go to NFL.com slash Together Weekend for ways to watch. And we welcome in two-time All-Pro to the training camp special for the Raiders. It is Chandler Jones joining us from the practice field. Chandler, it is so good to see you. You look good. You look like you're ready for season two as a Raider. Uh, visibly a little bit more slender. Are you coming in a little bit lighter to, uh, to just get to those quarterbacks a little bit quicker this year? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. Uh, I'm excited for year two in the silver and black. And I am a little slender. I'm a little, a little uh, faster. Um, part of it was playing. Part of it was from the injury building muscle. But uh, I'm excited for the season to start. Yeah, I'll tell you, man, you look great. Uh, look like you can run like the 100 meters or something out there. <laughs> <laughs> year, year 12 coming in. How do you keep it fresh, man, for, for yourself as a veteran coming in? I think always doing things to, to critique, um, to – to, to better your craft, whether it's uh, on the field, whether it's um, run game, pass game, or even body. Uh, I think uh, where I am with my age, where I am in my career, I think what would be beneficial for me is to, to drop a couple pounds. So you can see me a little slender this year. Um, I plan on building a little bit more muscle uh, throughout training camp, but my biggest thing was coming in a little bit more slim so I can be able to move a little bit more and be a little bit more agile. And how different does it feel this year? There was a lot of newness across the entire Raiders organization last year. New coaches with Josh McDaniels. This was your first year. Does it feel a little bit easier because you know what to expect in training camp here? Uh, I think it's always advantageous uh, to have experience, especially under uh, a if you go to a new organization and you have new coaches and, and a new location, um, you always feel, I don't want to use the word comfortable, but you'll get more acclimated with your second year. So uh, that's, a different, that's definitely an advantage for me going into my second year here, and, and hopefully it pays off. What are the advantages of playing with your side mate, Max Crosby? 
Man. Uh, were you done with the question? Because I have so much to talk about. Yeah, keep <laughs> roll. I'm going to the roll. roll yeah, yeah. Keep no, going. no, no. Max, uh, playing with someone like Max, uh, he, he leads the team, not just the defense, but he leads the team. And he's such a young player. His maturity is one thing that I really admire about him. And I say it in every, every interview. But even talking about what he does in the field, uh, he, he demands um, the respect from the opposing team. Um, the double teams, you know, uh, throughout my whole career, I've always been double teamed. And when I play with, I play with someone else that demands a double team, it's, you don't know who to pick. So it's been flum playing with Max and the sky's the limit for him for sure. And I know it's really early, but you guys do have a first round draft pick in Tyree Wilson. And what have you seen from him? What are you expecting from him? And, and what is the hardest part about coming in as a rookie and trying to learn how to rush the passer in the NFL? Yeah, what I've been preaching to Tyree and all the younger guys is just being consistent. Um, whether it's in the classroom, uh, on the field. But there's nothing like showing a coach or showing your boss that you can be that same person every day and they can rely on investing you. So the biggest thing I try to tr uh, to give to them is just being consistent, and that's what they have. They, they all work hard, and Tyree, I'm excited for him as well. I tell you, I've always wanted to know, when you line up as an edge guy, do you have your pass rushing game already in mind, or does it happen when you know the tackle sets you a certain way do you have that already that that move that you're going to play in, in on, on the tackle yeah you know a lot of times based on the call i'll have a predetermined move but but nine times out of ten it's reactionary oh. uh like I, i'll wait for for the guy to give me a set and then i'll react i think uh, most professional athletes well, well where i am in my position i uh i'm a professional athlete because i'm paid to make split decisions fast and uh, okay. so based on his set and the set line, I have to make a reaction and, and try to beat him. So, yeah, so it's more reaction than predetermined moves for sure. Looking for a big step forward for this entire defense under Patrick Graham, also in his second year. And now we know that Marcus Peters is going to be back there in the secondary. What were your thoughts when you heard that a veteran of that caliber was joining the secondary? Yeah, you know, it's good to have more veterans on the team, not just the defense, but on our team. Um, he's from the outside, from, from what I've known of Marcus, he's a very vocal leader, and we definitely need that on our team. And, and just, just in the secondary, um, it's always good to have depth. And, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, he's a guy that brings that lockdown corner that he's been doing, and he is a lockdown corner. So hopefully he just does what he's been doing, and he'll help our team. I'll tell you, that, that play from last year, do you have a picture of that straight arm <laughs> somewhere in your home? <laughs> It's right, it's right here in the back of my head. Wait, wait, I mean, wait, well, do you, when, you see Jaco when you see Jacoby Myers, do you, do you just put the arm out or do you say, do you remember you know, me like this or how's that work? Uh, you know, I, I spoke to Jacoby uh, in the locker room and I, and I really didn't speak about the play much, but I did speak about how he handled the media after. Uh, uh -huh. he, did a, he did a really good job handling that, and I told him, he said, yeah, thank you. But um, yeah, that was a great play by Jacoby. <laughs> yeah, sure. I, 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 I he said, thanks, I, thanks, I'll take that. And hey, that was an example. I mean, that was a walk-off game-winning touchdown, mm -hmm. but uh, the lack of kind of game-changing plays from this defense as far as takeaways and turnovers was a glaring issue last year. What do you do in training camp and in practice every day to really focus on becoming ball hawks and being able to disrupt uh, the play and to turn the ball over? I think just emphasize it, emphasizing turnovers and drills, uh, maybe breaking down things in practice and, and just uh, – just more focuses on that. I think when you do things like that, you 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 uh, you bring those plays into your team. You manifest it. So just breaking down drills and having guys raking at the ball and punching at the ball, which we've been doing, which most teams do. So hopefully, guys carry it over into game day. All right. Before we go, give me one young guy we should be watching in training camp that you think has a lot of potential that we should all be keeping our eyes on on the defense. Adam Plant, number fifty-two. See how fast wow. that was. All right. Wow. You see how, you I'm see convinced. How, you see how I didn't even have to say um and scratch my. Right. Wow. We're gonna get you a chair for right here. Hey, wow. We'll see. A chair for we'll right. See. So after Hopefully. the game, you can come up every every home game. <laughs> Let me hope and chill with us. Talk to the PR. I'll come talk to you guys. I uh, love speaking. I love anytime, it. Anytime. Anytime. You know you're welcome right here at our desk. Hey Chandler Jones, we are looking forward to seeing your second year in the silver and black. Best of luck at training camp and stay cool out there. Thank you. I'll try. This segment of the Raiders training camp special has been brought to you by Sirius XM. Subscribe to Sirius XM and hear every Raiders game plus 24 7 NFL news, talk, and expert analysis on Sirius XM NFL radio. Start listening at SiriusXM.com Raiders 23. 
Welcome back to the Raiders training camp special. We want to follow up on what Chandler Jones said in the last segment when we interviewed him. We asked him, who was one guy we should be watching at camp? Yeah. Who'd he say? Man, came out of, out of the woodworks, not even hesitate. I was one. Adam Plant. Yes. And Adam Plant, we're all going, <laughs> Adam, <laughs> look, he's somebody that we know is on the roster, obviously, somebody that's in camp, but he's an undrafted rookie free agent defensive end out of? Yes, UNLV. Right here. Bishop Gorman. High home, school, home that's right. Guy. Yeah. So that's really cool to hear an OG like Chandler right. Jones, one of the best in the business, give a shout out. So we definitely will be keeping our eyes on Adam Plant. He's one of seven undrafted rookie free agents here in Camp in Henderson, Nevada. Competition. That's right. Yeah. Uh, the defensive line. We know that we feel good about the ends, right? Uh, a little we bit. We feel good about the ends. Yeah. Got Max yeah. Crosby, Ty, uh, Chandler <laughs> Jones, Tyree Wilson. But how about yeah. the interior? Um, Bilal Nichols, Jerry Tillery right. coming back as veterans, expecting a lot from them. But then you have Matthew Butler and Neil Farrell, who were fourth and fifth round draft picks last, last year, year that could be in the mix. Yeah, they have to be in the mix. Yeah. And to get to all the headlines of the sacks, we got to find a way to stop guys on first and second down. So first down, we talked about offensively how important it is. Defensively, also so important. Got to win on first down to put yourself in situations where you're third and long so our superstars mm -hmm. can get after the quarterback. That's a great point. So first and second down, so important to stop the run. We haven't had success the last couple of years in doing that. We've had a multitude of guys kind of go in and out of that defensive uh, tackle position. This year, they have to be stout against the run. They have to find a way. And I think this whole organization really is about finding your role and being great in your role. And I think between these four young men, they have to find a way to put two guys who can stop the run on first down so we can get to that great third down pressure package that we have. Yep, second year in Patrick Graham's defense. All right, that'll do it for us here on the training camp special. Amber Theo Harris, Eric Allen.